Hello, my name is Vera Engelhorn. Hello, my name is Vera Engelhorn, and today I'd like to show you the online help in the past 4,000. So let's get started straight away. You can call up the online help in the past 4,000 tool via help on the menu bar, or by using the shortcut F1. The online help contains the navigation tree with all the topics and tips for working with the PASS 4000 tool and user program. Let's begin with the quick introduction getting started to PASS 4000. The quick introduction provides an initial explanation of projects in the PASS Multi or PASS 4000 with PSSU, PLC, or PSSU Multi. Here you'll find a short 11-point guide from Create Project and Create User Program to downloading the program onto the hardware. The procedure is the same with the PSSU PLC. Here, too, the guide explains how to execute a project in PASS. A precise explanation is behind each of these links. For example, under Hardware Configuration, you'll find instructions for how to proceed with the hardware configuration, including an illustrated guide. That's the quick introduction getting started. Now I'd like to focus on the libraries. All our blocks are explained in the libraries. You can see how to create library elements from your own function blocks. Plus, there are also PILS's own library elements. There's also the elementary library, in which all timers and Boolean blocks are shown just as they are in the IEC 61131 standard, with all the counters, timers, etc. And now I'd like to move my attention to the PILS PASS 4000 library, in which all our safety related and non safety related function blocks are explained such as Emergency Stop, for example. In the overview, there is a schematic representation of the Emergency Stop with all input variables on the left and all output variables on the right. Down here, you'll find the key to the symbols, what they are called in multiprogramming, how they work in IEC 61131 programming, and a description of the block. Then, in the input interface, each individual input is explained, which data type they need to use, what choice there is, and what the initial value is. The same applies in the output interface. The individual outputs are listed, and there's an explanation of which state each output adopts and when. The error reaction lists the diagnostic outputs, the meaning of the diagnostic output, and possibly the cause behind it. In the application guidelines, you'll find additional information, as in this case with the switch types on the emergency stop. If you wish to look for a specific block, you can use our search function. Here's a little tip. If you place an asterisk before and after your search term, you'll get the results you want quicker. If you use a block several times in your project, you can also adapt your help by adding, for example, emergency stop to your favorites. Now you're familiar with our online help, and I wish you every success in implementing your projects.